Hollywood's actors have voted to ratify the deal with studios that ended their strike after nearly four months, leaders announced Tuesday. The approval of the three-year contract from the members of the Screen Actors Guild American Federation of Television and Radio Artists was no certainty, with some prominent members voicing dissent on the deal for which the union leaders bargained. Australia's Rode Microphones has acquired U.S. Pro Audio mainstay Mackey from Transom Capital Group. Mackey, based in Bothell, Washington, now joins Aphex, Event Electronics and Sound Field under the umbrella of Rode's privately owned parent company, the Friedman Group. Details of the deal remain scant, but in a statement announcing the purchase noted that Mackey's brand, manufacturing and operations will remain unchanged. As might be expected, however, the brand's technologies will be commingled. The latest Hub Entertainment Research's semi-annual Battle Royale survey shows how consumers make decisions regarding a subscription to entertainment pay services. 88% of entertainment consumers agree with the statement that streaming video subscriptions are raising their prices more than in the past, and three-quarters, 77%, said budget is a main reason for not adding new ones. Three-quarters say it's too hard to keep track of where to find the shows they want to watch. More than 80% mention a limit of a number of subscriptions they can actually use regardless if they could afford to have them all. 59% of respondents said they'd prefer having a one-stop shop app for all their subscriptions. Vizardi has launched TriCaster Mini Go, an affordable solution addressed to a wide range of users, from streamers and podcasters to schools. The TriCaster Mini Go is the go-to for anyone with a story to tell and is offering a host of powerful features that TriCasters are known for, including advanced graphics capabilities using LiveLink, USB, and NDI connectivity, support for 1080p60 video and more. It features four inputs, two MEs, two layers, and two keyers. More details about the new TriCaster Mini go to come in MediaVision News next Wednesday. Video conferencing service Zoom has launched a dedicated app for use with Apple TV. The app works with the iPhone's continuity camera, a feature that allows the high-quality camera on the phone to be used with other devices, such as Apple TV or a desktop computer. The app is called Zoom for Home TV. Users are required to have the latest tvOS 17 installed on their Apple TV box. Apple has already made it possible to use its own FaceTime app with Apple TV. The Zoom app is free, but a Zoom account is required. Varnish Software has announced the appointment of Frederick Borg as its new chief executive officer. In his new role, Borg will build upon Varnish Software's latest achievements while driving continued expansion across the global content delivery market. Borg has a large record in the telecoms industry including significant roles in Global Connect, Telenor and others. As CEO, Borg succeeds Lars Larsen, who led Varnish Software for over 10 years, and will remain collaborating with Larsen, who will transition to a new role with Varnish Software. Today, Varnish's customers include Hulu, Emirates, Tesla, Sky, Negros, CBC, Future and more. Shinfield Studios, claimed to be the largest new film and television studio development in the UK, is nearing completion of its final phase of construction. There are now 13 sound stages available, with all 18 set to be open by early 2024. Based near Reading in Berkshire, it is owned by US-based media facility developer Shadowbox Studios. DTH satellite and cable continue to be by far the most used TV reception methods in Germany, according to a study released by the German media authorities at the Medientage München 2023 conference. Cable TV subscription was used by 15.9 million households, which corresponds to 41%. 5.9 million households watch TV via DTT, corresponding to 15% of TV households. Compared with 2019, the increase amounted to 37%. EMG, formerly CTV Intelligenic, has ordered its first fully electric 19-ton rigid tender vehicle from Volvo. This makes EMG the first OB provider to announce the adoption of electric trucks into its fleet. The vehicle is equipped with four Gen 3 traction batteries, designed and built to meet Swedish Impact and ECR 29 regulations. Dear colleagues, if you want your news to be included in Briefly, please contact us in the comments. Let's make news together.